All right, so let's start building this product recommendation chatbot for Lego. As always, we're gonna begin in the welcome message, which is the first message users are going to see when interacting with the bot. Let's add a text element here and ask the first question that will determine what product the user eventually gets. And we'll ask, is the person you're shopping for a boy or girl, right? Pretty simple. We'll then use quick replies to suggest potential responses to that question and then link to different content, put them down different funnels, pathways accordingly. So we'll say boy or girl, and then we'll create a boy block and a girl block where we will further refine this sort of search, if you will. So I'll create a boy block here, connect that to the quick reply, do the same for girl, and link that, great. I'm also going to create separate groups here just to keep things well organized. And I'll drop these blocks in like so. So on the boy block, let's further refine this recommendation by budget, for example. So to do that, I'm going to ask just another question. And all of this really just revolves around the text card and the quick replies. Of course, you could get more creative and show a gallery of different colors, for example, asking one question like, what's the person you're shopping for's favorite color? And then use that as a criteria. But for this simple demonstration, we're just showing it with text and quick replies. But feel free to be more creative as well. So next question we'll ask is, what is your budget? We'll add two categories to keep it simple here. We'll say less than $50 and more than $50. We'll do the same on the girl block. What is your budget? Less than $50, more than $50. Awesome. So we have both of those questions set up. Next, what we're gonna do is link to specific blocks, narrowing even further. So at the end of the day, we know the answers to two of these questions, and then we can recommend a specific product based on those two answers. Keep in mind that this can get very complex very quickly. So as I'll talk about later in the course, it really is best practice to map out this content ahead of time using something like a flow chart or a mind map so you don't get lost in the details here in chat fuel. So just keep that in mind. But let's say if they are spending more than $50, they're kind of a high spender for this gift, we will link them to a block called boy more than $50. Or we could just say, you could just say boy 50 plus to simplify it. Okay, and actually let's make it a money sign so we don't think it's age. Okay, so boy $50 plus, and let's do the same for girl, girl $50 plus. Awesome. Perfect, so then on each of these blocks, we've narrowed it down, we've narrowed down our target, we know they're shopping for a boy, we know how much money they're spending, if we wanted to, we could add another category like interests. Uh, there's an unlimited number of things that you could do here. We could also do it based on age, which in fact Lego did. But at the end of the day, we have this pretty specific category here and then we'll recommend a product accordingly. So for the boy one, let's use a gallery card, upload an image of the product, We'll use this Lego Mustang kit. I'll crop that. It won't fully fit. I haven't formatted it to fit. Uh, if you are looking to format the images though, you can use 1920 by 1080. Uh, it's a 16 by nine aspect ratio and that's ideal. Uh, and then here I'll call this a Lego Mustang kit. I can link out to Lego's website. I can say add to cart, go to lego.com slash Mustang kit for example. And I'll do the same for the girl category. I'll upload this product image, crop it accordingly. Again, the images aren't formatted, so there is some cropping, which is unfortunate. I'll call this Lego Tea Party Kit. Again, add to cart or whatever call to action copy you want to use. And perfect. If we wanted to, we could also go back to the welcome message and set up an attribute to tag the users who are selecting boy or girl so we have that piece of data. For example, the next holiday season, next year, we could retarget these people and say, hey, you know, 
use our product recommendation tool again, knowing what categories they're shopping for. So to do that, we could add a category like gender of uh, relative or something, whoever they're shopping for. So we have that ability to segment. We could also segment based on how much they're spending. So at each category, you know, we could add an attribute here, or we could even just add it on the quick reply, such as budget to spend. And we could do the same for the girl category, budget to spend. I'll click test this bot and take a look here. Let's try again. There we go. So is the person you're shopping for a boy or girl? I'll say a boy. What's your budget? More than $50. And it will give us that specific recommendation. Obviously, we could add other products for the other category. Um, but that, in essence, is how this works. Uh, what Lego did as well, though, which is super creative, I think, is they just asked a bunch of questions. And then using an algorithm within their own database of products, they would create recommendations based on that. And to do that, essentially what they did was at the end on this final block, essentially, of where they're asking the last question that they want to ask, they would then send everybody to a block uh, or just at the end of this block, they could do it they would add what's called the JSON API plugin. And this allows you to fetch and retrieve data from a script. So essentially what you would be doing is you'd be working with developers, software engineers who could create a custom script, an algorithm that takes in all of these user preferences, the person, the gender of the person they're shopping for, their budget, interests, whatever other criteria. You could then send all of that data from ChatFuel to this script, which then goes into the database, finds the most relevant products, and then sends that back to ChatFuel in the form of a gallery, ideally, showing you know the top 10 relevant products that fit the different preferences and criteria that you've selected. So this is another key component. Again, it's much more advanced than what I'm showing you. But if you have developmental resources at your disposal, I highly recommend you use this method. And to see all of the documentation for how to make that work, you can go to docs.chatfuel.com and then search for JSON API, J-S-O-N API, as you see it on the screen. And you can see all of the code and combinations that you can use to make that happen. See you in the next chapter.